Today I'm going to show you how to replace the LCD screen and VAT film on the Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K printer. Typically you'll want to replace your screen after about 2000 hours of use or if it is damaged for any reason. You also want to replace your film anytime that it has scratches or dents in it from pieces of resin that didn't quite get cleaned out from previous prints and that also can cause damage to your screen. Also if you have a print that falls off in the middle of the print and can get smashed into the screen or the film, here you can see there's a little dent in the film, you get dents, scratches, things like that, you'll want to replace the film. And make sure that you clean out, if necessary, in between each print. On this one, my screen had had a little bit of damage from a piece of resin up in the top left, but after a while it actually started printing fine. I avoided that spot for, I don't know, a week. of it, This thing prints nonstop, but I avoided that section and then after a while it came back to working just fine, so I went back to printing with it and it has been okay. But it's definitely over 2,000 hours and time to replace. So we flip it over and remove the screws from the bottom to get the bottom plate off and in there will be our lights and our access to the components for the LCD screen and where you will unplug the ribbon cable for your LCD which is there on the right. I'm going to flip it over just so that it's easier to get to. You could unplug the light matrix if you wanted to, I just left it and just made sure to be careful and pick them both up at the same time but I just wipe off some dust that's on there. I don't know if they changed this after the pre-order models but the chip that actually holds the LCD ribbon cable is not attached in any way to the frame. It is just stuck in place with electrical tape, which is fine, I guess, as long as it's out of the way. Um, it's not like it's gonna get jostled around like an FDM printer would. So I'm just going to take that off and then I'll just replace it with new tape when I put the new one in. Before I started, I did wipe the whole machine down on the outside with alcohol so I don't need the rubber gloves and you shouldn't need the rubber gloves inside for the components and it's a little bit difficult to do tape with them but I just left my gloves on because the gloves cover my ugly hands. Once I get all of the tape off it's as simple as flipping the little tab on the ribbon cable that clamps it in place flip that up to release it and pull the ribbon out and then you can turn the machine over and remove the LCD from the top. Since the board that the ribbon cable goes into isn't mounted to the frame, I'll just go ahead and use that tape to just hold it in place out of the way while I flip it back over. And carefully place the top on the bottom, avoiding the little dangling board. On the top, the screen is held in place with some tape that you can just easily remove. I will be replacing it with electrical tape. I don't know if there are some screens you can get that come with a tape, but electrical tape should work just fine. It just holds it in place and prevents resin from leaking down into the machine. You could replace that every so often if you need to. And then in the corners, there is a little tab that you can get under with a little tool and just pry up underneath the screen carefully to get it out and the ribbon cable just slides down into a slot that was covered previously by the tape. Out with the old, in with the new. Now do everything in the reverse. <laughs> the screen does sit on a sheet of glass, so I just want to make sure that I wipe that off before putting the new one in. And, yep, everything in the reverse. There is a protective film on the screen, so just make sure to remove it from the back and the top before securing everything in place. I have some colored electrical tape. I have blue and purple, so I decided to use the purple just so they would look really cool and awesome. You know what else is cool and awesome? You, the viewers, and especially supporters. Thank you so much for watching this video and my other videos and supporting me in creating new videos. If you too would like to support me in this, feel free to go to the link in the description and sign up.
there's your new screen. And just in case, for good measure, I will go ahead and recalibrate my Z-axis homing. Since I had to do it already anyway, I will show you how to replace the film in your vat. It's very easy. The screws are all the same size, so you don't need to keep track of which ones go where. You unscrew all of your screws to remove the metal plate that is holding the film in place. Remove the film. Clean out the metal and the plastic area with alcohol from the resin residue. Put your new sheet in. Remember to remove the protective coverings and then hold it in place with the metal piece aligned with the holes so that you can poke holes into the sheet to put the screws back in. I usually do two corners and then the middles and then the last corners first to kind of hold the film in place and then go around and puncture the rest of the holes and put the rest in. I use a little bit bigger hex key to punch holes where the screws go when you put the vat back on the machine. When I tighten the screws, I don't tighten them all the way. I tighten them just enough to where it starts to fold up the outside edges of the film so that I can then cut that excess off with a craft knife would be best. I only had a razor blade, so that's what I used, but a craft knife is easier. Cut off the excess film, tighten the screws the rest of the way down so that it gets a good tension on the film and you will be good to go. I hope this video has been helpful to you and if you liked it go ahead and make sure to click that thumbs up go ahead and subscribe for future videos and until next time replace the screen on your printer if you need to it'll improve your print quality and depending on the screen is recommended about every 2,000 hours mm -hmm.